Welcome again. Today on Chem 3, we look at how electron affinity is different from electronegativity. Let's begin first with electron affinity. And as the name suggests, it's all about adding an electron to an atom. And it's a measure of how much affinity or attractiveness, if you will, this individual atom has for a single electron. By definition, the electron affinity, though, is the amount of energy required to attach a mole of electrons to a mole of fluorine atoms in the gaseous state to produce one mole of fluoride ions. So the amount of energy that's released when a mole of these atoms, which is 6.02 by 10 to the power of 23 fluorine atoms, when they receive electrons, that number of electrons, and they form that number, one mole, of fluoride ions, the system releases energy. And this is why we have a negative sign to show that the system loses energy to the surroundings and we have an exothermic process. So the units that we have for this electron affinity for fluorine would be negative 328 kilojoules per mole because it all refers to one mole. The term electronegativity, while similar and very much related to electron affinity, has nothing to do with an individual atom. But it's a measure of something that happens in a covalent bond. So let's say that this were fluorine and that this black represented carbon. Then electronegativity is a measure of how much the shared electrons in this covalent bond are held closer to the fluorine than they are to the carbon. And let's say that this were hydrogen and this is carbon then the electrons in the shared covalent bond would be held much less closely to hydrogen than it would be to fluorine because the electronegativity, the tendency of the atom to attract electrons toward it in a shared covalent bond is that much higher in fluorine than it is in hydrogen. So we say that on a scale where four is the highest, Fluorine has an electronegativity of 4 on the Pauling scale. And here we have a summary to show the differences between electron affinity and electronegativity. Electron affinity does have an absolute value and it does have some definite units. Here the unit being kilojoules per mole. And it essentially involves a single atom being a measure of the energy associated as a single neutral atom in the gaseous state attracts an electron to form a single ion also in the gaseous state. But the actual value that's given is based on a mole of these atoms receiving a mole of electrons to form a mole of ions. So for one mole of fluorine atoms gaining one mole of electrons to form one mole of fluoride ions, the energy released in the exothermic process is 328 kilojoules per mole. Electronegativity, however, is not measured in relation to an individual atom, but it's about the attractiveness of a particular atom for the electrons in a shared covalent bond. Fluorine is designated as the most electronegative element in accordance with the Pauling scale, meaning that it has a relatively stronger attraction than something like oxygen, which is 3.4 or chlorine, which is slightly less electronegative at 3.2, or bromine with 3.0. Electronegativity does not have any absolute units, it's got relative units, and it's based on the attraction of electrons by a particular species. Here it's fluorine, here it's chlorine, and here it's bromine, and here it's oxygen, in a covalent bond.